Well, hello there. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB for your Windows 11. We are going to get needed software and get Windows 11 for our project. To get your Windows 11 for free, please check the video down below in my comments where I'll show you how can you download a legally free copy of Microsoft Windows 11 from Microsoft website. Now let's go to our computer so can I show you how you can create your bootable USB drive for your Windows 11. USB. First you will need to have at least 8 GB drive. Over here you can see that I'm using SanDisk 16 GB drive and only 14 of them are usable. Second you will need to have an ICO copy of Windows 11. I have mine over here. If you don't know how to get that copy, I'll be leaving a link down below for my another video where I'm showing how to download Windows 11 for free. Since we have a drive and Windows 11, the third thing we will need is Rufus. To get Rufus, let's open our browser. Oh. Over here, you will need to go to rufus.ie, go on the bottom of this page and download the first version standard okay let's download it save okay so rufus is downloaded let's install it okay okay so this is the rufus menu over here you can see that our disk is selected boot selection now we'll need to select our windows which is this file you can see desktop hop it's done well now we are ready to create our windows 11 bootable drive but before we'll do it let's check out a few more settings that can be useful okay let's press start button and over here at this pop-up menu you can see that you can remove a requirement for 4 gigabyte ram and also for security check of tpm dot two security chip i will be keeping them so that more devices would be compatible with our setup okay okay so we have a warning that all data will be erased click okay and our process has started this will take from five to ten minutes depending on your usb drive speed so our disk is ready let's go to our disk manager over here and see if everything is okay okay so we have our windows over here let me unplug the windows okay let's plug it back okay so we can see that our flash drive is bootable and it took 8.83 gigabyte of space so you should go with 16 gigabyte drive well so now you have a bootable drive for windows 11 which is working with any system also you saw how we disable a requirement for 4 gb ram and a special tpm2 chip that is usually a problem for most of the machines this was alex if you like this video hit that thumbs up and subscribe for my channel for similar content Take care and I hope to see you soon in my next videos.